Perfect. Yo, Mary. Looking good, babe. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, oh, she'll hate that. And I sound like Matt. Yeah, and Matt isn't really my type. <laughs> Mary, please tell me you didn't hear any of that. <laughs> Don't worry, I can pretend. Sorry, I think I got here a little too early. No, you're just in... Whoa. Whoa? You look great. Likewise, Leo. And did you get taller? Or am I just imagining it? Oh, I'm wearing a new pair of heels. Is it okay? I'm bringing flats, so I can change them if you want. Are you kidding? You're like a model. Who wouldn't want to date a model? Stop making me blush so early. The day's barely started yet. We'd better get it started then. Let's go? Yes, let's. By the way, I'm picking up a few things from my old workplace. Sure thing. Here we are. Do you want to come with me or just stay here in the car? I'll come. I want to see inside. So Nando used to own this place? It's pretty big. Oh no, not like that. It's more of a joint clinic. He worked here with two other veterinarians. Oh, Mary, I have your things here. Jay, thanks. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Oh, it wasn't any trouble. Not at all. Mm -hmm. What's this? This isn't mine. Oh, Dr. Byrne put that in there. She said it was Dr. Proveris. What? Mm. Where is she? I want to talk to her. Oh, uh, sorry. She called out today. I'm not stupid, Jay. I used to work here. I know her schedule. She's inside, isn't she? Dr. Byrne doesn't want to see you, Mary. Please respect her decision. Then tell Ava this. Giving this back won't fix anything. This isn't what he needs. If he's anything, it just rubs salt into the wound. I know she never cared much for Nando, but she could have at least had the decency to give the man the closure he deserves. Mary. Leo. That's enough. We should get going. Chocolate mint or strawberry? Strawberry, please. Here. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I'm so sorry you had to see that. Don't worry about it. If because Nando is so passive when it comes to these things, someone needs to make Ava realize the damage she's done. Is that what Nando wants? Well... How about the box? What will happen to it? Um... I'm thinking of keeping it until he gets over the whole breakup. I feel like he's been doing better lately. What's gonna happen if I show him this? I don't want him to go back to square one. Mary, this is going to sound a little harsh, but hear me out, okay? Give it to Nando. It's his relationship. Not your place to interfere. Even if he's your best friend, it's not your job to constantly protect him. Jeez, he weren't kidding when you said it's gonna be harsh. Trust me, I've been there. If you keep softening the blows for him, it's you who's going to end up exhausted. You can still support him without fighting his fight for him, Mary. Leave the rest to Nando. I'm sure he'd want that too. Take care of yourself first, okay? Okay. Snowball, lunchtime! Huh? Snowball? Guinevere, where are you? Look! I have your favorite treats! Kelly? Cass? I went to the Yale Clinic to get my things. This was in the box. She wanted you to have it back. Uh huh? That's it? What else did she say? She wasn't even there. It was Jay who told me. I see. Mm. Nando, is that really necessary? It doesn't mean anything anymore, right? It's just an accessory. Besides, I was the one who picked out the design. It'd be a waste to just keep something this beautiful in a box. Uh, anyway, I think I heard someone at the door. I'll go check. Mm -hmm. Have you seen Snowball? We're looking for Guinevere. Guinevere! That doesn't even sound like a real name. What makes Snowball any better? She looks like one, duh. Um, they're both lovely names. But what exactly are we talking about here? She always comes around lunch and never misses a day. The problem is we haven't seen her since yesterday. She's also, uh, 
pregnant, which makes it more concerning. We thought that if anything bad happened to her, the first thing anyone would do is take her to the vet. No. Sorry, this is my first time seeing her. But I'll see what I can do. Also, I don't think I've met you two yet. Cassander, everyone calls me Cass. I run the meat shop down the street. I sell homegrown produce next to his shop. Name's Callie. Pleased to meet you both. I'm Nando. But you probably already know that since it's posted all over the clinic. <laughs> yeah, and everyone's heard of the new vet. Let's see, let's see. Another possibility is that someone surrendered her to the shelter. Have you checked? The shelter is on the brink of closing, so they don't accept animals anymore. She wouldn't be there. I see. Maybe we just need more people looking. I'll help look for her as soon as I get off work. That would be great! Thank you! Guinevere! Snowball? Have you guys tried asking the owner of the corner shop? Yes. She hasn't seen any cats around. Meow. <laughs> Meow. 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 Uh, uh. Psych. <laughs> you... <laughs> Dude, do you really have to make that face every time you see me? We're like neighbors 24-7. Better get used to seeing this face. Uh, get used to you being an ass? No thanks. I was just having a little fun. So, what's up? Looks like someone lost their cat. Fun. Since you're already here, have you seen this cat around? Oh, that looks like Mr. Park's cat. I remember noticing that heart-shaped mark on its forehead the first time I made a house call. But Mr. Park passed away a few months ago. I'm not sure what happened to his cat after his passing. Hey, Matt. Do you mind taking us to where Mr. Park used to live? Some haunted house realness, right? Yeah, the kind that curses you forever the moment you set foot in it. She's lived here all her life so it's likely she still comes home here. So she gets food from us and goes back here? Something must have happened. She may have gotten sick or gave birth. That's why she didn't show up. Either way, she's a stray and not feral. The best thing to do is to find her and give her a new home. Even if she's inside, the gate is locked. We'd be trespassing. Ah, but it's only trespassing if we get caught. Matt. You guys heard the vet. We don't have time to waste. I hate to agree, but Matt is right. We need to know if she's in there or not. Careful! Don't let the babies get skewered! Shut up! You too. Ah! You too, Cass! Up you go. Let's see if I still know how to pick locks. Why do you even have that skill in the first place? <laughs> oh? A collar. Just a little more. Is that her collar? What does it say? Cute. So that's her real name. And I thought we were bad at naming. Maybe she responds better to her real name? Ciao! Meow. Did you hear that? It's coming from the back! Pretty. Oh wow. What a view. Yeah, but where's the cat? Meow, meow. There she is! Cat stuck in a tree? <laughs> Classic. Not only that, see her leg? She looks injured, too. Something must have chased her all the way up there. I didn't think they actually get stuck in trees. They're built to go up. Not so much when it comes to going down. So, what do we do? Call the fire department? Get a ladder? They would know we've been trespassing. You can't get a ladder over that fence either. Well, it's not that high up. I just need a little boost to reach the branch. Cass, can you do it? Sorry, no can do. I have really bad knees. Oh, then Matt can do it. What? You promised you'd help, right? Now bend over. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, watch it. You're doing it all wrong! Lift your leg! Uh, I am! Shit! Uh, steady now! Uh, True. Finally. 
Hey there. No need to be scared. We're here to help you. Ciao. That's your name, right? And this is yours. Let's put this back on you, okay? Good girl. Let's get you down and fix you up. You must have been so scared on your own. You can rest easy. We're here now. No, no! I've got you! Are you guys okay? No! Oh. What the heck? I think you mean thank you. Uh, hey! Wait. Ow! Ow! Sharp cat claws! Ah! Mad! Oh, fuck! Ugh. Oops. N nando <laughs> You were saying? I didn't mean to do that, I swear! It was the cat! Uh, there's also this. It snapped when I tried to grab you. Uh, Ava's ring? I'm sure it's just down there. I'll help you look. Where did it go? Meow. No. Let's go back first. That ring looked pretty expensive, though. I'll look for it if you want. Matt, just pull me up. Okay, it's your call. Let's bring him to the clinic. I'll check if... How are you feeling? Are you hurt? That fall is no joke. N no, I don't think so. You have a few bruises. Put ice packs on them when you get home. Right. What's that? W what's what? On your face. Oh, it's just mud. Good. <laughs> Can you stand? Yeah. Great, let's go. Guys, it's getting late. I can take it from here. Nah, we'll keep you company. It's fine. We all live nearby. Hey, Miguel. What? Right now? Matt! Nando! Are you coming in? Uh, something came up, so I'm heading back first. I see. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll visit Chow first thing tomorrow. Matt, one last thing. Thanks for helping us out today. <laughs> even though you ended up in the pond? Yes, even with the untimely dip in the pond. I'm glad you're here today. All in a day's work, my dude. See you around, forehead. Oi, Miguel, what's this about? <laughs>